So I'm here overlooking the Montpellier Stray, very near Prospect Gardens, which is just the other side of that road. And I thought here was as good a uh, position, place as any, to give my solstice review. You'll know that um, I'm bringing them back now, but only the summer solstice. And I'll have to go quiet if this road, uh, this path becomes used, because we are pretty um, public here. It's going to be quite a short one because I don't feel I need to do a review of the last six months, including important events or resolutions, because most of those uh, are sort of in the resolution for the five-year plan, which will be up at the start of next month. Neither do I need to do a review of the five-year plan continuation areas like Springboard and Health because of the same. I think a lot of my blogs recently, particularly the last one, has also, uh, in conjunction with the Over a Coffee, sorry, the Over a Cup of Broadcasts, particularly the last not over a couple of broadcast has basically given you a budget review for the last six months so all those things are done uh, so I come to the statement on the progress of the Pulver House of Birds Avery just wait for her to go by do you know it's not been such a good start to the year. Uh, we did deliberately choose not to go to the bird show in spring, so there was no mass uh, gains from that. There was no fourth wave. Um, the other thing that's turned out pretty badly is the uh, breeding season is not going well. We're halfway through, and to this date, Whilst we've had, I think, four uh, live births that have resulted in infant mortalities, um, we've only had two other live births, one of which is at the stage where it's about to fledge, and the other is very young. So. That's not good. That's not good. We've not had one little bird that's made it yet. Um, we have, however, introduced flight nest boxes. And bizarrely enough, despite the fact it's been a bad year in terms of the, um, the breeding season, the, uh, one of the live chicks that is doing very well is in the flight nest box. So uh, we'll keep that up. We'll keep that up. Direct losses and gains. Uh, let me just have a look. As I told you, there were four infant mortalities this year, um, but we have had several others as well. Uh, we've had the birthday of Muffin, the um, canary who was on the 17th of March designed to be a partner for Jojo went down horribly uh, when she died and her year's mind is the 11th of April we've also had the death of Beverly the zebra finch one of the contingent and a good breeder on the 14th of April And finally, we also had the death of Susie the Owlfinch uh, in April and the death um, of uh, Sergio the Owlfinch about a month later in May. So altogether, that's quite a big loss. That's one, two, three, uh, four four losses uh, plus the babies is eight losses and we've had one gain which was cancelled out and two gains which I've not yet uh, 
made made it. <laughs> so here are the calendar editions for the first half of 2015. We've got New Start on the 1st of January, Undisclosed on the 3rd of January, New Start on the 30th of January, Bethany's Christening on the 1st of February, Undisclosed on the 6th of March, Cohen Mason's birthday on the 8th of March, a Muffin's birthday on the 17th of March, New Start on the 21st of March, the death of Susie the Alfinch on the 2nd of April. Um, uh, Muffin's Year's Mind on the 11th of April. Uh, Beverly's Year's Mind on the 14th of April. New Start on the 20th of April. The New Start on the 1st of May. Uh, undisclosed War between the 31st and the 1st of 31st of May and the 1st of June. Undisclosed War on the 4th of June. Uh, and Fillings on the 8th of June. Unfortunately, uh, I need to do more research to find out exactly when Sergio uh, the Alfinch died, but I believe it's sometime in May. <laughs> now, we also have um, several chapters of uh, the spiritual side of things to go through uh, and we've had one two um, I think we've had five five spiritual chapters uh, two of which have been uh, spiritual warfare which had the second slaying which was on the 7th of June and the casting out which was on the 4th of April uh, we had uh, the revelation of um, where are we? Cosmos Miracola on the 29th of April. And then we've had two miracles. Uh, Pigeon Miracola on the 8th of June. And Cyanide Miracola on the 13th of May. And that's it. <laughs>